Hello, and welcome to Attack of the Awesome, where we make a geeky, nerdy look awesome. I'm your Farm Fresh host, Scooter Mike. Along with me are my awesome co-hosts, Gomer the Gamer. Hello, folks. I have blue shorts. They are comfortable and easy to wear. All right. And then we have Zoro Zanhaka. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Yes, Happy Father's Day, everyone. Beloved every Father to Zelda. every father. <laughs> and uh, our guest co-host of this episode is the lovely Miss Lady Renee. Hello. Yes, girls do game. All right. I don't know. I yes. just felt like saying that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as for the guest of this episode, well... That's hard for me to explain who she is. Well, I'm going to let her introduce herself. Um, okay. <laughs> Hi, um, yeah, I'm, I'm Screaming Manus, and I'm the tax test chick that hasn't done anything in a really long time, and I should really get on that. Um, <laughs> that's really about it. You probably have seen me on Twitter, like, babbling and making no sense, and yelling at random people. That's that's me. So hi. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> she is she is a small blonde firecracker. I yeah, well say. that works, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's a really nice way of putting it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, <laughs> well hey, I, I've seen you go off on things. That 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 qualifies you as firecracker. Right there. <laughs> I will totally take it. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> today is uh, June 17th, 2012. It's Father's Day! Hooray to all the fathers out there! Oh. And uh, hey. let's talk about what else is happening today in geek history to talk about. Uh, let's see. Uh, 1983 on this day, uh, Superman 3 was released in the United States, introducing Richard Pryor as a computer hacker bad guy. Wait, Pryor was a bad guy? I, apparently so. Huh. I, he was? Apparently he was in the movie. I don't know. I, I don't recall this. I feel like I should know this. That's so bad, Cass. Well, what's the name again? Richard Pryor. <clears throat> no, no, I, I know of the guy, of, of the thing in which he was a bad guy, because I, I also am being... I, I, I cannot comprehend. Does not compute? Does not compute. No. Spider Man. Super Superman three was released in the U.S. in 1983. On this oh, day. Oh yeah, the one I pretend doesn't exist. Got it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that explains it. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, there's a, there's probably one more that's worth talking about. Uh, two more actually. Uh, the first episode of Flight of, of the Concords aired on a uh, HBO in 2007 today. Ooh. I've and never seen that. I have not either, so I'm, there's probably a bunch of nerds out there who love that show. I uh, heard it's I I've heard it's decent. I mean, it's not like that old of a show. No, it's. Let's uh, look into that. Yeah, and uh, lastly, Atari releases Ghostbusters for PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and Nintendo Wii in the United States in 2009 on this day. Ah, the the <laughs> apparently the okay. very very better better Ghostbusters than what we got on the NES. Exactly. Uh. Oh, much better than the one on the NES, but overall, yeah, it, yeah, it was okay. <laughs> yeah, when I understand story wise, uh, the Ghost the current gen Ghostbusters is supposed to be a continuation of the story, right? Uh, it's, uh yeah, it's in between two and three. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's pretty much in the gist of what's happening in geek history today. Hooray! Woo! And uh, let's hop into the next segment, which is known as Around the Web, where we talk about awesome things we've seen on the internet, which could be a video, picture, maybe a song or audio file of some sort. So, who wants to pop out with what they've seen around the web first? Um. 
uh, does I I I feel like this is not an awesome thing to say, but like it's what everyone's talking about today, besides Father's Day, about Rodney King died. Did uh, you guys see that? Yeah, Rodney yeah. King died. Yeah, he was like forty-seven yeah. years old. That's a big. That's a. That was like. Damn, that's that shit happened in like 1991 or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they said that, from what I understand, from what I read, they said he found him in a swimming pool and like foul play is like pretty much like completely suggested. So like it's it's not like he just drowned or something. So Jesus, that that mm. guy, man. I, what a life! I, I can't even get over that. I used to do a project on that guy when I was I was doing um I was I was at a, a commu- community college when I was like younger just to get some credits gets into the university mm-hmm. and I had to do a project on that guy and it was like one of the most un- unpleasant experiences I've ever had to do. Like I really did not want to like watch that stuff. Mm. What I'm I know reading this says really... that. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, I'm just saying, no, it's like, I I know that's not really awesome, but, like, it's pretty relevant, like, right now, at least. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine, that's fine, yeah, that's... But, um, about the thing about uh, foul play, what I'm reading right now, because I decided to go ahead and look it up, says that they're actually suspecting that he was high at the time. Aw, you know what? he may have actually gotten high and drowned in his pool. You know what? No, I'm sorry, both drunk and high. Oh Jesus! You know what? Right. Even according to his fiance, which is not necessarily you, true. Right? You know what, dude? Ugh. Then, then I have no sympathy, man. Because I, I, okay. You know what? I tend to drink, and I really, really, really like to swim. I swim all the time. I don't put the two together like her ever. Like even I know not to do that. If you like even is so much as like kind of blackout for a second you're going to drown like like there's a really good mortality rate of that but you know what that doesn't even surprise me and if that's the way he went out well he went out with his reputation just the same as it yeah. always has been and that that's quite depressing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ugh. yeah uh, speaking bitch, man. speaking of uh, recent deaths and everything oh over the course of the past however long it's been since we've done one, uh, Mr. Trollolo, I forgot the guy's name, he passed away too. Oh, yeah, the Trollolo. Oh, that guy? Mm hmm. Yeah. He, yeah, I heard about he's that. Dead. He, yeah, he's dead now. <laughs> That's he sad. Passed away. Oh, it's like, oh. And, uh, uh, and what was really noticeable, notable about him, at least in my mind, not necessarily because of the Trollolo song or whatever. But he, you know, before he died, he made he put a video up on YouTube saying, "Hey, everybody, let's make some lyrics with this, you know, and we can all sing it together and be like, hey, that's kind of kind of nifty." Cool. When was the last time you guys did a show? Because speaking of uh, awesome people being dead, I forget exactly when it was, but I remember reading recently. Somebody on Facebook told me that one of the science fiction greats also died. Ray Bradbury. Yeah, Ray Bradbury. Yeah. Yes, Ray Bradbury. Ah. Oh. Which uh, yeah. I, I about cried. And and of course, Diamanda Hagen, <laughs> when she learned the news, guess what video she posted? Just just what, yeah, what? Rachel Bloom. She yeah posted Rachel Bloom's "Fuck Me, Ray Bradbury." Oh yeah, that <laughs> um oh. Steve called me up and said, wanna hang out tonight We could see an indie film or just grab a bite I said, oh Steve, you're cute, but a movie's not what I need No offense, but I'd rather stay home and
prolific author Ray Bradbury. Come on, baby, I'm down on one knee. I carved our names on a Halloween tree. You write about Earthlings going to Mars, and I write about blowing you in my car. You won an Emmy Award for the screenplay adaptation of Halloween Tree. Burn me, Ray Bradbury. I don't I, like. I don't like that. I don't like her. I don't like that song. Oh. What do you mean, Rachel Bloom? Yeah, Rachel. I don't like Rachel Bloom. She's not that funny to me. Fuck me, Ray Bradbury. I'm such a fan girl. Who the hell is this person? Can someone explain, please? Uh, uh Rachel, Rachel Bloom is is a uh, musical comedian, basically. Oh, she does okay. Songs parodying different uh. Uh, musical styles in different topics. Like, um, there's Fuck Me Ray Bradbury. She also has I Steal Pets. A, she, she just uploaded a new one recently, too. And here's, a, yeah, here's the one that I first found. Okay. Yeah. I You know what? I bet you have seen it. I just... The name's not ringing. You know what? Yep. I didn't... I don't even need to play it. I know the... I know this thing. Yeah, by the oh, title. Yeah, that video. That yep. video. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. agree with you. Mike, I do not like that either at all. I don't I think mean, it's funny, not even close. So yeah, hmm. it's well, just not my thing. Well, I see it. Different strokes for different folks, right? Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeesh. Wait. One, two, three. Holy crap! It's like more than four weeks since we did a last episode. I think wow. the la- yeah. la- last recorded was May 19th. Wow, yeah. you guys fell behind for a little bit. Yeah, we had a sh- short hiatus because, you know, I'm, everybody's busy. Anyways, I, uh... I want to talk. We I'm not moving. doing shit for a while. Don't don't even feel, don't feel bad. Thankfully, I'm done with nothing. school now, so... Yeah. Yeah. But, and uh, actually, we've got our internet connection up, so we're good. Yeah. As long and, as AT&T plays nice. <laughs> okay, besides the uh, passaways of famous people over the past couple of weeks, there's anything yeah. worth talking about that you've seen around the web? Um, I have, but it's it falls into the uh, video game news, actually, so. Okay, uh, let's see, I'm trying to go through. Uh, Rosen, you got anything? Uh, around the web? Um, yeah, I was thinking, uh, this I found... Uh, a friend of mine shared this to me. It's called, I, I call it the personification of all internet relationships. What? What? Aww. It, it's kind of cute. It's actually really cute. Aww. Aww. That's adorable. That's, that's really cute. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you know what? You know, you know what? Just things from the web. It's it's more like a, I guess, a, I don't know if it's like news thing, but I kind of want to bring it up because I'm really happy about it. Mm-hmm. I I don't know if people are going to agree with me or not. Um, it's all over Facebook and it's all over Reddit. Like it was all over Reddit. 
um, Michael Bay's Alien Ninja Turtle thing got canceled Ooh. by Paramount. It's canceled. Did you see that? Yay. Uh, haha, yes. You know what? Uh, about it. It's like, well, actually, I do have news pertaining to that in the movie news. Actually, did they did they bring it? Did they bring it? Are they bringing it back? I know it was because they said it was. It was not because of all the complaints. I don't. I don't believe. I maybe that had something to do with it, but I don't. I don't know about that, but all I read is that they said that the script was like, or the screenplay or whatever it is, was like, not good at all. Uh, they, they said the script was so bad they had to they had to cancel it. Well, God, do I really want to talk about it now, or should I just? Mm, I really want to, you know, because it relates to what I want to well, talk about later. We can bring it up later. Because yeah. I'll, I'll bring it up later. Either that or it could be a good. Either bring it up later or it could be a good segue. Because it, mm-hmm. yeah. it is a good segue. <laughs> it's a good segue when, when I want to talk about what I've seen around the web, actually. Ah, I thought we were all going to be uh. sharing stuff we saw around the internet, and I, I, I like, I had a thing. I, I, oh. I, I, we're not even done yet, so yeah, you can go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, uh, article that I saw recently that really pisses me off. Um, apparently, uh, Ethiopia is becoming even more of a ball-sucking area to live. A Skype call in Ethiopia will now get you 15 years in prison. Oh, I recently yeah. found out. It got shared to me over Facebook. Here's hey, the link. In Ethiopia? Ethiopia. A call over Skype will now get you up to 15 years in prison. Uh, Why? They're Why? doing this whole thing in Ethiopia where they're trying to control all methods of communication between people that can happen electronically, and since they don't host Skype, it's allowing things to get past their censorship walls and... They decided to make it illegal to use Skype so that they could control wow. everything and monitor oh everything to have but, national monitoring of but, everything. That's terrible. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm going to withhold a lot of my thoughts for right now because I'm actually going to be covering this on my show as well. Oh, 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 oh I, 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 yeah, yeah. But the, 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 I, I, the, I think I'm broken. <laughs> <laughs> you broken. <laughs> I did not mean to Okay, well, in slightly <laughs> less timely internet things, is it okay if I share something brief and old? Uh, yeah, if it's Ish. very brief, yes. It, 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 it is brief, and you guys can uh, look at it later. It, well, it's, it, it's kind of brief, brief. I have been, um, I have recently been thoroughly introduced to Minecraft. And oh. I got addicted to an online series of let play, Let's Plays called Hat Ventures. And I just found, and yes, I know this is a little bit old, the uh, Reindeer's Been Naughty thing from Skylands Episode 30, where uh, the guys were playing around, and one of them decided, they were all in uh, Christmas gear, because it was a holiday episode, and the guy in the Santa suit decided to kill the guy in the Rudolph suit because he'd taken his pickaxe, and they made a chip tune uh, song to go with it that is absolutely hilarious and well worth watching. And I have heard a link to it on YouTube. Cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Lots of insanity. She's <laughs> actually gotten me into like the earlier ones today. So. All right. So. Yeah. It, it is cool. It is very cool, and I will, uh, since this is a video podcast, I will feature it in the video.
Party. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, I'm the last person to uh, say what I've seen around the web, and I saw this YouTube musician. His name is the Human Tim. He is a rocker, and he does these rock covers of classic uh, TV show and like movie theme songs. Like he has done the Ducktales theme song in rock. Reading Rainbow Rock for him. <laughs> uh, Rescue oh, Rangers. Lord. Rescue Rangers in rock form and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in rock form. Wait, wait, are you talking oh, that about, would be uh, bad. Ninja Turtles already rock. kind of in rock form as is. Yeah. You'd think, but yeah. Slightly. I guess harder rock, maybe? Like, really... I guess. Like, really hard rock. Like, blaring... I think mm. the only way you could really hard rock TMNT is if you did it Tenacious D style. And there you go. Are there other types of Tim, and he's uh, a human version? Of I was wondering about that too. I was like, why is he called that? But uh, if you're interested about his 
work and other stuff, you can go to his website, which is www.thehumantim.com. He's also on Facebook. He's on Twitter. He's got Tumblr. You can just follow him on there through his website. There you go. Hooray! Uh, and this... You know what I... You know what I want to hear before before we go on. You know what I want to hear. What I want to hear is somebody do the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme in a death metal format. Death metal. Death metal style. Yes. Oh From, dear. If you could go on YouTube, you could, you could probably find it. You just got. I'm sure someone's <laughs> done it. Yeah, yeah. To my I, I kind of want to hear it too, though. That that would be really. <laughs> that'd be awesome. Yes. But uh, yeah, and this will segue into the attack of the news. Guys. Where, yeah. Guys. Yeah. Nearlick, Teenage Ninja, N Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, hidden track number five, theme from TMNT by Finnish death metal band Nearlick. Oh. oh. Mm. Nice. <laughs> you have been linked. Now your wish has come true, Goma! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, a lot of editing. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> this segues way perfectly into the attack of the news where we talk about news retaining in the fields of movies, video games, and other random nerdy news. And... The movies shall go first because since I talked about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme being rocked out, let's talk about the uh, Michael Bay produced Teenage Mutant. Actually, not mutant. They're aliens. Oh, actually, my skin is crawling. let me talk about the stuff we were trying to talk about earlier with the whole movie itself. I got this article and the title says script issues delay. Michael Bay produce Ninja Turtles until 2014 at least. It, that's a big oh, push, it's just though. Delay. That's, that's a really that's a really big push because it was supposed to be. That's I think they pushed it back like something like eight months or something like that, if I can recall, or even maybe even more than that. I don't know if someone can correct me on this, but like when I first saw this news, I saw it through someone tweeted it, um, like some some movie thing that I follow tweeted it and I read it and like that was when it first came out and like I think the date is like a really far off date like yeah the the release date was supposed to be December 
of next year, of 2013, but now it's being pushed to May 2014. See, I knew it was a really long stretch. I knew that they pushed it back, like, by a lot. That really is right. by... That's a lot, yeah. I mean, Michael, yeah. Michael, if you're listening to this, let me make this incredibly clear. Retire. Right yeah. now. You are <laughs> terrible, and you have nev never made a good thing in your life. Please retire before we are forced to collectively form an angry mob and beat the living shit out of you. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I've, I've got to ask a question. What if we go into the future and we find out that he reproduced and made some, and, and reproduced a son or daughter that went on to do something magnificent like, oh, say, cure cancer or AIDS or something? Yeah, yeah. Don't, 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 don't even. But, then they, but that's the future, though. Yeah, that's the future. What if he had kids that can do good for the community? Yeah, because he at least had half a hand in it. Yeah, so... So, don't be but too... still, I, I do. Get, I, I, I'm, I'm just being a smartass. <laughs> but yeah, so that is over. That's done. That's the discussion's over. That's it. It's being delayed until May, May 24 because the script can, is can, being. Can I just, is, can I just issue forth a frustration on one point, one teeny tiny little point? Mm-hmm. Okay. I just, I want to shoot whoever it was that decided that the turtles were actually aliens. I think we you all do. I mean, I think that's because the thing is with the script, they Michael Bay's got the original creators of the Turtles working on the script. I I understand that, but I just want to. I don't like it. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't know. It's 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 kind of being different and unique, sort of. I mean, they're to me, sure the Turtles. You know, we grew up on um. They're mutants, you know, they came from the ooze, and we blah, blah, blah. The alien part is like, okay, maybe there's a backstory to beyond the ooze, because the ooze, because Michael Bay was talking about the ooze, because the ooze might be an alien ooze that predates everything. Well, I can see that if it fundamentally changed their DNA. Yeah, I mean, I can, you know, but there's a difference, like, if it's a re if it's an retelling slash origin kind of thing, maybe it could go over okay, and I, I'm saying maybe, but it, I'm worried it's just going to be a big-ass retcon of everything else, like, yeah, but retelling like one thing, retcon that. another, you know what I mean? Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. So, we'll... Just see what happens in a couple of years when it comes out, if it goes well with the script and stuff. So, all right, are all right. done with that? Oh God, I have have yet to talk about any more stuff. <laughs> all right, <clears throat> all right. Let me do it like a little. And uh, those for you listening, you probably heard the previous episode, and this might be a little recap to what I talked about in the last episode because there was a little confusion on the episode last time. Uh, last time I talked about was there's three things. There was uh, a Need for Speed movie coming out based on the video game. They're working on that. Um, there was they two... made that. All the Fast and Furious. Um, there was a couple of movies that were focusing on like the retelling like uh, Huckleberry Finn and Tom Hunk are gonna have like supernatural powers in a movie, which is like what? Huckleberry Finn and like Wait. what? Oh yeah! Oh 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 god! Don't and get no, me started on not... that again. Don't do not get me started yeah. on that again. Yeah, I know. And then and then the other one I was talking about last time was the Oliver Twist movie that would feature oh, pa parkour. What the fuck is going on? I know. And so, Rosenhacker got confused because he thought Taylor Lautner is going to be in this Oliver Twist parkour movie. Well, he's doing a different parkour movie. Well, he, Taylor Lautner is going to be in a new bike me messenger parkour action flick called Tracers. It's not related to Oliver Twist. It's just a different parkour movie. Wasn't parkour popular in, like... Like, 2005? Like, oh, I think so. It's, but it's still going around like a mad virus on the internet. 
Really? Yes. I, I just haven't I just haven't seen anything relevant of it like in a really long time. I know, so it must be like coming back now and then being featured in movies. So if you got confused in the last episode, here's a clarification. Ah, but Taylor Lautner, I just I don't think he's a good actor. I've never seen a good movie with him in it. Although, if your only exposure to his movies is, you know, the Twilight quote saga, then, you know. <laughs> I mean, he's. I'm trying to remember. I've I've seen this crappy movie. It was Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Oh, that was his early career. Oh. Oh, oh dear. God, that was like the I'm worst. Sorry, I'm flashing back now. That's like the worst oh, no. movie I've seen. Uh, he's he's been in the movie Abduction, and he's gonna be in the upcoming. Grown Ups 2. I saw Abduction. How was it? Yeah. It, it's the new room. It really is. It's the room of spy Did film. you see it voluntarily? Go yeah, ahead and shoot actually. Because it. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> oh, hey, there's, uh. well, there's a plot to this movie. So, t- Tracers, the uh, bicycle messenger parkour movie, is about... A New York City bicycle messenger, Cam Lautner, is the hottest things on two wheels, but is in debt to an organized crime, a crime gang. When he crashes his bike into a sexy stranger, Nikki, Cam is immediately seduced by her and the thrill of the world of parkour. Uh. I know! <laughs> Paperboy the movie! Yeah, but, but, yeah. Well, there's a, there's actually another bicycle bike messenger parkour like movie coming out this year actually. Uh, oh, what's it Why called? Why is that genre? Uh, what the hell? It's I like to ride. Fixed gear. No brakes. Can't stop. Don't want to either. We got him. Riley, I got a package for you. It's premium rush. Don't screw it up. Hello? Riley? Hey, Jersey, you want to move your fat ass? How sexy you are when you talk like that. I'll call you when I deliver. Time is now 5.33. You must be there by 7 o'clock. It's extremely important. Always is. Thanks. Have a nice day. He's got it. Hey, that envelope you picked up, I gotta ask for it back. Yeah, the thing is, once it goes in the bag, it's gotta stay in the bag. It's in your best interest to give me the envelope. If you don't give over that envelope, you have no idea what's coming for you. Why'd you have to go and ask for me? You got involved with some people with real problems. It's life and death. What's going on? This situation sucks. I don't want you anywhere near it. Do you need backup? You're out of time. Are you negotiating? Count on it. But yeah, I don't know, it's weird. Parkour's having a big comeback. Uh, there are now uh, parkour things that you can add to your avatar's action thing on Xbox. It's kind of funky. Oh, that's fun. So Actually, my, my avatar on Xbox Live is wearing a Harley Quinn outfit that might actually not look bad 
Considering. <laughs> yeah. I still prefer Gunkata. Who? Right. Gunkata? What? No, I just didn't hear what she said. Gunkata from Equilibrium. Oh, There's okay, a okay. Thing uh, you can yeah. get for your avatar, and they will do Gunkata ish ness. Uh, yeah. She showed that to me earlier. I looked right at her and said, can I marry your avatar? Because <laughs> it was just that cool. So, uh, I'm almost done here. I'm sorry. Um, since I talked about, you know, fictional characters of the past having, like, supernatural powers or being turned into parkour, uh, apparently, does anybody know Sir Isaac Newton? Yes. I know where you're going I've heard with of him, yes. Apparently... He's gonna be turned into an action hero in a movie. Wow, you know what? what? This is really enlightening me today. This is awesome. <laughs> is this like you know a what? Trend? Is this gonna be the thing they're doing after the whole Abraham Lincoln vampire hunter? I was just gonna say I that. I was thinking about I, that too. I was like, that could yep, be. Yeah, that was based off an awesome book. Yeah, that was based off a book though. But this is like totally like. And then not even based on anything. Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter looks amazing. Yeah, it does. Okay, if they're going to give a historical scientific figure superpowers, I, I vote Tesla. Ah, yeah, but... Isaac Newton is a very random choice. It is, because... Like, which is, is why it? I say Tesla. It is, but uh, apparently he, uh, uh, he worked for with the British Mint at the time. I don't even know what the British... Like, the he was like... He served as a detective for a while and the head of the British Mint, so they're going to focus on that in the movie, apparently, so... so... There's nothing more exciting than printing money. Yeah, so... I don't know! What is with the movie industry these days? They're idiots. They're all idiots. <sighs> well, Indeed. I can say at least that in the next couple of years there's gonna be a lot of fucking fodder for reviewing I'll give it I'll give it that if these movies are planning on coming out anytime soon they're gonna get ripped apart by by reviewers like, I know I don't yeah, yeah it's gonna be Which, speaking of speaking of movies coming out I've heard that I think they're going to uh, take book the Book of Mormon and make a film version out of that Finally. Uh, from what I've yeah, heard. So it's like, yeah, there's a new one for me. Oh, yeah, buddy. That one's <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the last, last, last story I got before I turn it up to, to Gomer or Rosenhacker for news is uh, Warner Brothers buys Dinosaurs Attack Los Angeles pitch from Break Media. It's... Wasn't that fake? Like, wasn't that just a joke? Uh, no. Yes, I know it was real, but, like, isn't it, like, an Onion-style story? No. And I got this from my source of movie news where I usually go. And, yeah, yeah it's not really jokey, but dinosaurs okay. attacking Los Angeles. Yay. You know what? Our other shit has happened in LA. 90-minute format. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Um, I said, you know what, I'm not even surprised by anything like that. That's, every other, so much shit, movie shit goes down in L.A. all the fucking time. And in the past couple of years, there's been a lot of destroying of L.A. So, you know what, throw some fucking dinosaurs in there. Why the fuck not? It's, I, it, it's to quote the article, it's like Battle of Los Angeles, but with dinosaurs. Imagine That's the That's not a good example. But, it's not a good example. That, that movie I, was awful. And like Gomer says, imagine the last act of The Lost World, but for an hour and a half. Yep. <laughs> so, oh. uh, that is the long version of the movie news. I have an extension to it, plus my own stuff. That's fine. You want to go next? Sure. Uh, oh, in I, extension to his stuff, I am have uh, stuff. Uh... Adam Sandler is going to be making a movie about Tonka trucks. Uh, can you repeat that, honey? I, I didn't hear you. Oh, my God. All I heard was Adam, Adam Sandler, Sandler and Mark Raid. Tonka trucks. Oh, Tonka, Tonka trucks, trucks, yes. Yes, movie based off Tonka trucks. Uh -huh. Yes, I've read that one. 
Oh, but, I mean, really? What what's gonna be the plot of a Tonga trucks? It's it's uh how? I mean, how? I mean, it's like based on a movie off of uh, Hot Wheels or freaking or Battleship. Know. Oh yeah, Battleship. Yeah, the board game is like they did that. Well, they did you know that. What? Yes, they did in a very token to... sort of way. I have to just kind of throw Ooh. this out there that Adam fucking Sandler has been going downhill for years. Yes. And I'm pretty sure his last movie, uh, uh, from what I've seen and heard from videos and, and whatever, uh, it was pretty fucking... Uh, it was an abomination of a movie. So, you know what? If it's anything... Because, okay, he did Jack and Jill, which was a big fuck you to fan, like his fans if you yeah. actually watched the end of it. Um, it literally was a fuck you, haha, ha, I, I made you come to see this movie. Um, I don't, if you guys didn't never, I, I, and I don't blame you guys if you have not seen Jack and Jill. I haven't, but I have went on YouTube and looked up the ending. Uh... Um, and, yeah, it, just go look at that. Yeah, it's the and tell me that that's not a fuck you. And then that's my boy, which I really am not going to get into because I'm not. And um, now this. So, you know what? It's 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 probably going to be him sitting in his fucking mansion fucking playing with Tonka trucks. I wouldn't be surprised if it was. <laughs> I really wouldn't. Like, this guy... Fucking Adam Sandler, man. I know. Can he retire? That's the one. He needs to stop now. It's it's really it's gotten old. These movies are like, they're so yeah. they're and they but the thing is is that they make money and I don't understand like, are people that collectively stupid? I mean, to in, actually enjoy I like. Well, we I'm, need I'm, bad I'm, movies like this so Cracked will have something to write about. Yeah, I'm in favor of uh, having handing over everything over to Edgar Wright, because that man's a genius. Yes, that man is a flippin' genius, Edgar Wright. What about Wright. Whedon? We are Josh Whedon. Yeah, uh, 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 yeah, we Whedon. Who did awesome shit with the last with the Avengers movie? That was mm-hmm, awesome. That was awesome indeed. Oh, yeah, yeah, Josh Whedon. Yeah. yeah. Josh, <laughs> are we Josh Whedon? Is that who we're talking about? Josh Whedon, yes. And, and Edgar Wright. Okay, <laughs> we, we can't talk about Whedon because I'm going to go on an entire spree about the, the Avengers and I will not stop. So. Okay, thank I've, God. Okay, let's don't even talk uh, about it. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. It's like, I've oh, no. seen the movie like six times, so like by myself. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, Dang. I'm not even... I'm not even ashamed. Like, if you guys are on my Facebook, you really don't have to. Like, like Gomer, I know that you're, you're friends with me on Facebook. If you look at it, it's just plastered in Loki shit, and it's really embarrassing. Yeah, it's like, wow, <laughs> so someone's, got a, someone's got a bit of a crush there. <laughs> hey, and there is nothing to be ashamed of. Hey, Thank you. Uh, okay, look, I can't, I can't, no, don't, don't flip on that switch with me, because it will not come off, so let's just let that go. <laughs> oh, I know, uh, there's a new show coming out called Cartoon Lagoon, which is basically Mystery Science Theater, but they're riffing on a cartoon. In a lagoon full of cartoons, there is a crew that will watch every last one until they find the worst one. All hands on deck! Yeah, hatting down the matches! Arm the poor weirdos! Soon. Wow, we that's a mighty big school of cartoons out there. The crew of the Manta Ray. The greatest cartoon retrieving submarine ever to have retrieved cartoons! Will set out in search of the best and the worst cartoons ever made. I thought we were watching Finding Nemo. Out in those shark-infested waters, there's a special cartoon that I know would cheer up Axel. Starring Captain Cornelius Cartoon, Wet Willie Jones, Axel Rod McGee, and Frankie Planky in 
Captain Cornelius Cartoons, Cartoon Lagoon. It stinks. Coming soon. Yay! Super Life Affirming! Oh, that could be fun. Ooh. How, how would, how, how, but, crow! <laughs> it looks amazing. <laughs> What? How? I'm. It's. It, that sounds awesome. Oh, I dear think it God. does. I see felt. Huh, let's see. Huh. No. Find me a link. Find, find me a link to that. If that I, no. I it. Oh, cool. Here. Let's see. Mm, I'm just gonna look at it real quick. Mystery Cartoon, mis Mystery Cartoon, say in Semarine Theater 3000. Oh, wait, wait a minute. I know why she's saying no. Okay, I totally got this confused. I thought, <laughs> I thought they were, I thought it was just going to be riffing on actual, like, bad animation or something. I did not know it was going to be animated puppets. I changed my mind. Well, it, it's both. <laughs> it's both. It's both. <laughs> They're in these puppets riffing on, riffing on animation. Ah. So, it is gonna be so you can see them riffing on like the old Super Mario Brothers cartoons. <laughs> this is this is I don't think the old Super Mario Brothers cartoons need help that front. Hey, yeah, I, really really like those. <laughs> I really like those. Those are funny. <laughs> I are, it's Super but... Mario. <laughs> I love this song. <laughs> yeah. Well, I grew well. I, I like like I'm sure most everybody else here has. I grew up on them, and I do enjoy them. Doesn't yeah. mean they're necessarily they're awful. You know, they're terrible. You know, it, it's that's a thing for me f for enjoying them. But you look at them on a critical eye, and it's like uh, they're not the best. You yeah. Know, well, from a critical. They're absolutely out, no. I'm like, no. <laughs> it's bad. Anyway. But it's, it's like it's just it's it's nostalgia bad and. <laughs> I like nostalgia bad sometimes, like, especially when you look back and you realize, like, why did I love this as a child? Like, what did I see in this? Like, I get that when I watch the old Zelda cartoon. Like, I'll just be like, what the, what the fuck? What was I doing watching this? And I actually played Zelda. Like, I really hope I didn't have that mentality where I thought Link was a complete fucking pussy. <laughs> like, after watching the cartoon. <laughs> Excuse me, princess. No. Oh, dear yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I see. Did you get um, princess? Kiss me. Zelda is a good segue into the video game. Yes, it is. Got... Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Especially since I've got two stories. That I've that I managed to find. Um, I'm going to read them out of my order, which which you wouldn't have known if I hadn't mentioned it. But okay. <laughs> uh, speaking of Mario and Zelda, <clears throat> mm -hmm. the man who created cultural phenomena like the Mario and Zelda franchises wants to make a first-person shooter. Speaking speaking to Kotaku, Shigeru Miyamoto explained that while this genre is interesting to him, he's too busy with other projects to pursue it in earnest. I actually do want to want to make a first-person shooter, but I don't have the time, he said. Miyamoto explained to Kotaku that if he were to build a first-person shooter, it might be different in structure than typical first-person shooter games, and perhaps not particularly violent. He said he was specifically enthused with the idea of a game that allows players to look around and fully explore a 3D space. Rather than the necessar necessarily the question of what kind of weapon do I have in a first-person shooter, or what kind of effect does that have on an enemy, I think that the structure of a first-person shooter is something that's very interesting, he said through a translator. Having that 3D space in theory, that in theory you are in, and being able to look around and explore that, particularly being able to do that in conjunction with another person, is very interesting. Miyamoto has dabbled in the first-person shooter space uh, before. He has served as producer on Retro Studios' 2002 GameCube title, Metro Prime, though he was not involved in the day-to-day -day creation of that game. Which I have Metroid Prime, and it is awesome. If you know, for those who are just like finally catching up with you know, uh, what one, one to two generations ago. <laughs> uh, but uh, a, I'm just imagining like a Legend of Zelda first-person game or a Mario first-person game. 
Yeah. It's, it's gonna, yeah, that's pretty much what it's going to be. I, I, yeah. I mean, how, how violent can this guy possibly go? Because he won't. He, no. I don't, I mean, I, I don't think he, yes, there's, there is violent shit on, like, Nintendo, like, I, I'm talking Nintendo now, like, yeah. mm-hmm. like, the, but the Wii is really not, like, or Wii U, I should probably be talking about, because I would, I would imagine it would either be on that or whatever is going to go on with the actual Wii, um, I, I don't know, I don't even know what he would do, like, I can't even imagine, like, but the thing is, you're saying shooter, like, first person shooter, like, gun. Yeah. Which, like, which, technically, I think that is technically the name of the genre, it's basically a first person game, not necessarily a shooter, but I think, just going by the name but of you said, the but you genre, said because that it's usually... Okay, so it's a first-person game. If that's going to be what it is, I, it's probably going to end up being Link, like or something with Zelda, because you'll probably ju- all you'll probably just see is like somehow it'll be like your sword is like next to you and you're running around. That's what I would imagine it would be. Oh yeah. Zelda so less like, FPS and more uh, Elder Scrollsy. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. You, you, you see what I'm saying though? Like that's not really. I wouldn't consider in. At the risk of sounding really fucking stupid here, I really would not consider fucking Skyrim as a first-person shooter. Am I wrong? No, it isn't. You're not wrong. It is. No. It's an RPG I, I, with I, first-person yeah, perspective. I, I, mean, I, I thought I went like I thought I went fucking retarded for a second. Like no, no, no. That's, that's <laughs> what I'm imagining. I'm imagining <laughs> Skyrim. Like exactly. That's that. I I'm just thinking Skyrim. Like running around. I've got my battle axe. You know, like, and just put Link in there and take the battle axe out and put the Master Sword. That's really not go. anything. Yeah, but it's not new, though. It's not anything new. Well, I think, I think if Miyamoto was to go that direction, I think he would find a way to make it unique enough to where it stands out. He, he, he oh. will make it stand out. <laughs> I, I yeah, have I, that much faith I, in the man. I, I love the man. I do. Okay? I mean... But Nintendo, though, lately, I don't know, ever since the Wii originally came out, I have never been so disappointed with a console in my life. Like, that was a kick in the fucking face for me. And, like, I mean, I only pretty much, I had a PS2, like, like, and that was really it. I had all Nintendo systems, all of them. Um, I didn't, like, I never even owned a Genesis until, like, I got older. You know what I mean? Like, so, like, when the Wii came out, I didn't realize I probably should have been, you know, kind of going after an Xbox instead. You know, like, I I don't know. I just felt really fucking, um, I don't want to say betrayed, but, 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 like, like, it's like, it's like, okay, all my friends are playing like, these really fucking awesome RPGs and everything, like, on Xbox and, like, PS3 and all that, and I'm sitting here fucking jumping around collecting little candy-looking stars on Mario Galaxy like a fucking idiot, like, and that was a good game, I'll give it to you, but it was so overly cutesy, and, like, maybe I just grew out of it, I don't know, maybe that's, and that's my opinion, but once I got the 360, and I was late to the party for that one, but once I got that and I started playing stuff on it, and I actually didn't use it a lot, and then Skyrim came out, and I freaking got so immersed in that, that I was, like, (laughs) I was sitting up for hours, like, just drinking beer and playing Skyrim, like, that's all I did for, like, two fucking weeks, man, like, like, I didn't even, and it's really kind of, like, that's that's bad, but, like, I just sat there, and, like, I didn't even realize, like, at, at points that it kind of was, you know, daytime outside already. I'm like, oh shit, I can't see because of this random glare all of a sudden, and it's the fucking sun coming up. Like, that game is so goddamn good, and I, have, I haven't touched it in months, because I, I've been playing... I've been playing, like, Fighters and stuff like that, and then Catherine came out, and then Batman, which I'm not even going to start with, because I'm yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, don't. Uh, 
But um, Everyone speaking has my opinion on that, I'm not going to. But um, but but yes, yeah, Sky. I love Skyrim. Skyrim is so fun. I really should like put that in again and start playing it. Yeah. Uh, but speaking speaking of uh violence in video games. <laughs> uh, let me pull my thing back up here. And apparently, I'm skipping for somebody. But um, but okay. So um, the other news story I've got: <clears throat> scenes of serious violence were a staple of the 2012 Electronic Ele Entertainment Expo last week. And while Sony said these moments could be beneficial for spurring stronger narratives, Epic Mickey producer Warren Spector has a different tale. According to Games Industry International, Spector bluntly said, "The ultra violence has to." Stop! Expanding on his thoughts, Vector said he believes such violence in games could have negative implications. We have to stop loving it, he said. I just don't believe in the effects of argument at all, but I do believe that we are fetishizing violence and now, in, in some cases, actually combining it with an adolescent approach to sexuality. I just think it's in bad taste. Ultimately, I think it will cause us trouble. Yeah, because, you know... You know, you know, hey, you know, some of us just, you know, like to watch fake people bleed and blow up, you know? It's, it, 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 it's therapeutic in some cases, right. you know? Better, better than going out there and, say, going and shooting up somebody. I'm not finished with the article yet. I just felt I needed to toss that in there. <clears throat> so, um, so Spectre went on... Then, go ahead, honey. Okay. Specter went on to explain that his decision to leave Eidos, where he was instrumental in the production of the original Deus, Deus Ex... Yeah. In 2004, was spurred by the violence he witnessed from the publisher's lineup, specifically games like Hitman, 25 to Life, and Crash and Burn. We've gone too far! The slow-motion blood spurts, the impalement by deadly assassins, the knives, shoulders, elbows to the throat, he said. You know, Deuce Ex had its moments of violence, but they were de designed. Whether they succeeded or not, I can't say, but they were designed to make you uncomfortable, and I don't see that happening now. I think we're just appealing to an adolescent mindset and calling it mature. It's time to stop. Ah, uh, so... Okay, now. well then, let's just all take it out of movies, fucking books. Like, that's set in culture, man. What What is he fucking bitching about this now for? I know, right? Because like, we're really? experiencing something called virtual violence fatigue, and it's starting to show itself in gaming trends, I send you link. Ah. So, yeah. Virtual violence fatigue? What the fuck is this? What is this? Uh, it's talking Virtual about violence. the gaming industry starting to steer away from violence because non-violent creative games are beginning to sell better and faster, and Minecraft is being seen as one of the games at the uh, spearhead of this uh, movement, supposedly. Supposedly. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think, honestly, I think there should be a balance of well, pretty much any game out there, you know? You know, get, give everybody have, you know, let everybody have the chance to get their fix. If they want to have, like, the ultra-violence, ultra-violent, gory stuff that's out there, like, like this guy is describing, hey, let them have it, you know? But if well, you want... If you want more, like, Mario or whatever, you should get that, too. That's the whole thing. If you don't want to fucking play it, then don't play it. Exactly. If it bothers you... Don't you use it, don't use it. Yeah. You know what? There's always going to be somebody... There's always going to be somebody who has a problem with the way things are going. And, you know, they're gonna. there's always going to be someone saying it's too violent or that we're getting too into it, or we went too far, or whatever. There's always going to be one of those people. This is, like, this shit's been going on for, for years, and I really don't see any difference with it. This, like, is, is, is it's, it's stupid to me. That's just, I don't see why we're talking about it more. I mean, no shit, video games can be really fucking violent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And, uh, <clears throat> is that the gaming news? Yes, that is. That's the only two news stories I had this week. Thanks for the news, Gomer. And now, on to the weird news of the podcast. 
But I'm speaking like a newscaster for no reason at all. <clears throat> <laughs> Alright. The zombie apocalypse is is upon us. Yeah, oh, we heard. Yeah, but I, I know it's a, <laughs> a few weeks old, but I figure I'd bring it up now. This is news. Yeah, this is news in this weird portion, yes. In Florida. In the oh, God. Yes, the Florida. No, it's, dude, it's everywhere. I, but the, the main one yeah, I but found. He's bringing up Florida. That's where I say, oh, I God. I point out to Florida, okay? I guess this is the one I found for Florida. Fucking Florida. In Florida, a naked man was gnawing, gnawing or eating on another man's face. Bad salt. Yes. I know. We all know. Yeah. 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 It's bad salt, man. That's all, that's all this is. Salts are a hell of a drug. Who the fuck ever... Who was the first asshole that ever smoked slash snorted however the fuck you do bath salts? Who the fuck started that? Like, who just know, took... Who was in their bathroom and was like, oh, you know, I've had such a fucking long day, man. You know, I really want to just relax with these this bath salt that, that smells so good and, you know, it's so good I think I'm going to just smoke it just right up my fucking <laughs> lungs. Like, what the... Hell. No, no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who it was, but I'm willing to bet that they live in a trailer park in Graceville, Florida. <laughs> yeah, I bet. But, uh, okay, <laughs> since you guys heard about that one, here's another zombie-related news that continues this. Uh, now, there's some guy throwing their own skin and intestines at policemen. Oh, God, yes. I, I've heard about this one. This was in, <laughs> this is in New Jersey now, and they're like, oh, I got my intestines and skin. I'm going to throw it at you. Boom. That's a, I think it was uh, Kat Thompson who said that was a gutsy move. <laughs> oh. oh. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah so. I have an answer to Screaming Mantis. What? Huh? I have an answer for your question. Oh, oh what, what is what is an? Go ahead. For the, for the bath salts drug thing. Oh. oh. The compound remained an obscure product of academia until 2003, when it was quote rediscovered and publicized by an underground chemist on a website called The Hive, working under the pseudonym Kinetic. Kinetic posted on the site, "I've been bored over the last couple of days and had a few fun reagents lying around, so I thought I'd try and make some, you know, chemical process here." Before going on to describe that after taking it, they had a, quote, fantastic sense of well-being I haven't gotten from any drug before except my beloved ecstasy. It started taking off around uh, 2004, started seriously taking off in 2008, was finally declared illegal um, uh, in, in Australia, New Zealand, and the USA by being considered an analog of other illegal drugs and controlled under the Federal Analog Act uh, sometime in... 2010, and then um, in 2011, the USA started doing harsher stuff, and then they stopped for some reason. I can't figure out details on that. But there's the answer to your question. See, you that's go. just not fair, because I enjoy bath salts for their lovely scents and their relaxing... Well, they're called ultimately well, bath salt and plant food. Wow. Yeah. Well, um, it originated in China. China. That's great. Oh, lovely. That's just slang names just... include meth, drone, and MCAT. Hmm. <sighs> All right, let's uh, move away from the zombies because everybody's heard about it. But here's something that's gonna be laughing your ass off when you hear this: bear attacks man while pooping, drags him pantless through woods. Wait. Bears and the endless who, cycle yeah, who is doing of the shit. The bear or the man? The man is pooping. The bear is dragging a pantless through the woods. Yeah, this article is very confusing already. All right, okay, <laughs> if, it's, if you're confused, I'll read the article then. A Canadian man was enjoying a camping and fishing trip with his good buddy up in a cabin on Antonio, in Canada. Early one morning, while unloading some personal logs in an outhouse, a black bear mauled him and dragged him pantless into the woods. Oh, dear. Yeah, that sentence makes more sense. Yeah, the title just yeah. got a little confusing, but yeah, that... Uh, yeah, the title was poorly constructed. <laughs> guess so. Uh, where am I? 
Gore Schwill, age 65, was staying with a 63-year-old friend, Daniel Ag Alexander, in a cabin near Dunbar Lake. He admits his first mistake was leaving the door to the stenchy-filled outhouse open so he can enjoy the view. <laughs> I like to see the view when I'm pooping. <laughs> the bear I got nothing. The I got nothing to say to this. <laughs> the bear attacks. And while his pants were down to his ankles, he tried to use his hands and kick in with his feet to feud the animal. That proved useless as the bear grabbed hold of the man and began to drag him out of the outhouse towards the brush. Then he started to scream for help. <laughs> yeah. Trying to, to, to engage in fisticuffs with the bear. Not a good idea. Then Alexander... And then his friend Alexander heard it and came out, run, ran back into the cabin, returned with a shotgun. By the time he reached the bear and his friend, they were in the brush, huddled too close for him to get a shot off. Just then, the bear turns towards Alexander and was shot in the head. Boom! Headshot. Well, at least he got a decent colon cleansing. Yeah. Because I'm sure if you're in the middle of that experience and you're already going, you're going to keep going until you can go no more. Let's see. Yeah. Gord was treated for rape, uh, rabies, escaped with scratches up his arm and back. He, also, oh. he was also left with stitches under his arm and a puncture on the back of his head. Why he got a bear attack? attack him? That's a bear that's attack. He's, yeah, I was just going to say, mm -hmm. like, that's a fucking bear attack, man. Like, usually, like, they fucking, like, rip your goddamn face off. Like, I, I fucking hate bears, man. Like, I don't, I don't really like the outdoors, like, very much. I don't really go camping, like, ever. Like, I went camping, like, last year, and, like, I, I, like, insisted on bringing a television in my Xbox, okay? <laughs> so, like, like <laughs> well, I, I I, I, that's a true story. Uh, I did. Then again, <laughs> then again, knowing me, if I was in that same position, you know I'd have a damn iPad with me. Just, <sighs> yeah, or something, <laughs> but like... Okay, dude, dude, there are places you personally cannot go without taking your game device that I'm not going to mention the company. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, okay, some books, other people take Game Boys. No, so. but like, you know... We ended up, like, we had, like, rat, we, there was, like, a rat in the fucking cabin and stuff, and, like, like, th we went outside, and, like, yeah, like, yeah, I mean, I, I love rodents, don't get me wrong, I mean, I have rodents as pets, I, I don't want them possibly coming up to me in the middle of the night when I'm sleeping and making a nest in my hair, I would really appreciate them not doing that, um, and, like, every time we would go outside, because we did, like, a bonfire type thing, all you'd hear are, like, footfalls of, like, animals. And I'm sorry, I just couldn't do it. And I went inside the cabin with the little rat that we never found or whatever. I don't even know what happened to that little guy. Um, and I played Catherine on my Xbox with a really shitty TV wired with the weirdest... I don't, I don't even know how I got those things working. Do not even ask me. Uh, and I drank a bottle of porter wine, and I was fucking good. I am good without going outside. And bears are a big are are a reason for it. And granted, like where I live, because I'm from I'm from Buffalo. Like I there's yeah. there's woods and stuff around here. But like if you go down to the southern tier, there's like Allegheny and like stuff like that. Like the like the woods, and that's where we are. And there's like been like bear sightings all the time down there and I don't really know because I don't pay attention because I could give two shits about camping but like I, I'm i sure like I don't know if anyone's been attacked but I know that bears have been notorious around that down that area for like completely fucking up like when they if people go on hikes like they'll get into those little cabins or like if they have tents and shit and they'll just fucking destroy everything looking for food and stuff like that which they do everywhere but like bears are fucking scary as fuck to me like i don't i don't know what i would do if i fucking i'd literally probably pass out if i ever even saw one near me that those things freak me out and for that reason like yeah. Yeah. just a bear just 
can you can you imagine like even this story about this guy, which I I have some sympathy for, because that that must be that must have been like tr- ungodly traumatic, is as weird and as stupid as it was, but like, I mean, can you imagine just sitting there and just like all of a sudden, bear. Like I, I don't know what I would fucking do. I mean, I, that's just yeah. That's just really freaky. I fucking hate bears, man. Those things will rip your face off. But yeah, no, that guy got really lucky. Yeah, he did. Because it could have yeah, been a lot definitely worse. Definitely very lucky. All right. Uh-huh. We actually, actually, I'm gonna have to bump off because I got my other co-hosts ready and they're waiting and all that. So. Fine. That's yeah, was... fine. We're. I'm almost done here. I got two more things to talk about. I mean, there's one weird news, and I've got the top ten list. That's all I have left. Then we'll be done. Okay. So, all right. I'm almost done. I all right, ju- let's go. All right. Last weird news article, and Gomer has seen this previous weeks before, and there's a sex lube that tastes like whiskey. <laughs> Why? It tastes like, it tastes yes. like what? Whiskey. Oh, bro. Uh, something new for us to try. <laughs> oh God! I did not need to know that. Yeah. <laughs> I I feel like I should say something about this, given my. I know that's what I brought it up because you have that background. <laughs> <laughs> given my whole. You are the alcohol reviewer, Miss Mantis. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um. No, I won't try it on talk test. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> oh. I... That's cra- what the f- okay? No, I will never use that either. Like, I mean, w- why would you want that to taste like that? Like, whiskey is supposed to be, you know, enjoyed in a shot glass, not on someone's. <laughs> oh, and it gets better too. Guess what the name of the product is? I don't oh, know. Bye. What is whiskey dick? Please tell me Whis- it's whiskey dick. Whis- whiskey dick. It's Got whiskey dick. <laughs> so, so it's a lubrication that makes you incapable of the activity the lubrication is designed to assist? I guess. Well, there's one way to okay. find out. <laughs> uh, somebody try it and see what happens. Okay. I'm not uh... doing it. So <laughs> Let's someone find else out. do it. Oh, hell no, I ain't buying that and using it. <laughs> oh, God, that's right. to me, isn't it? That... Yeah, why do, I, why do I suddenly, uh... Why does my brain suddenly go to Mr. Owl from the, uh, Tootsie Pop commercials? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That is the weird news. And last, last, last thing is the top ten list of the podcast. Now, we know about the porn parodies. There's been porn parodies through... Decades and decades. There's been, you know, there's the recent one that came out was the Avengers porn parody XXX, which I heard was really bad. But then there's well, also the uh, recent Star Wars one too. Yes, that one too. The Star Wars How XXX. Star Wars one by now? I don't know. I don't know, but this one, the one that I, the recent one that I saw, looks really good. And I, and I mean production value wise, not X wise. So this it, it list. Looks so this list is the ten, we need to, oh. the ten uh, XXX porn parodies you have never knew that existed. So these might oh, be dear. challenge accepted. So oh boy, how many childhoods are going to be broken? Yeah. Okay. Well, the uh, first one on the list is the Golden Girls XXX milf parody. Wow. Yeah, I'm even slightly surprised after that I'm still hot music video. <laughs> Why? Uh, that makes me, oh. that makes me Jibba sad. Fox, if you're listening to this, I'm so sorry. Because <laughs> uh, he, he is a uh, Golden Girls fan. He is one of the co-hosts of Two Cents. And he is a big Golden Girls I fan. I love that show. I love that show. I have every season from one through seven. DVD. <laughs> and so is Mantis, apparently. All right, so they said... <laughs> you could love that show. Just yeah, don't Mantis love that does. Show. So quickly, though, so now is your favorite TV grannies uh, became super slutty MILFs. 
Uh, when Dorothy's lesbian friend Jean comes for a visit, she re she reveals that she's in love with Rose, so the girls try to show Jean that a steadily man almost half their ages can fill a void that a another woman just can't reach. Thanks to thank them for being such whores. What? Oh, Whoa. Right. Okay. I, am I am confused. Solid. <laughs> nice memory for me. <laughs> this is the we didn't wow, want to just, go without. Just... Yeah, well, okay. N moving on really quick here. Uh, Anchorman, a XXX parody. Oh, boy, I don't see that. could be one. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ron Burgundy and the Channel 4 News team has lost their jobs and moved from Wales, Virginia to Los Angeles. They, they joined forces with the ever-popular Veronica coming stone <laughs> with their all female news team to get back on the air <laughs> you parody a parody very carefully yes uh, oh and the next one might get even more confusing this ain't espn triple x espn yeah. es what espn porn i guess Oh, so the, uh, the, the synops... I don't understand why regular ESPN is popular. I mean, here's here's a synopsis. Mixing sports and hot, slutty female sport reporters get nailed by gifted athletes is about as good as it gets. No, so it's, it's really not. Athletes. Right. <laughs> Just don't... And, and it gets even better, because the next one is This Ain't Fox News Triple X. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, Fox News porn? What the hell? Breaking news, the newsroom... this. Breaking news, the newsroom goes wild. You'll never see a hotter, sexier news broadcast than this. Who says, uh, reporters can't get down and dirty? What the hell? Oh, God. <laughs> no, no. Oh, God. I had to. Oh, it gets worse. There's... Uh, right. Gomer, would you mind? Um... Fuck it, we'll do it live. Thank you. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say I'll watch that. I'll watch that if they say that line in there, which I bet you they will. Oh god, it, 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 it gets it gets worse. We had ESPN, Fox News, and now we got this ain't Jeopardy triple X porn porn parody. No. Oh wait, wait I got I got another okay, one. Okay, so after I'll the take... stuff they did with that with a uh, Celebrity Jeopardy, I, I yeah. if, if it's a Jeopardy triple X parody, it had better involve fun. Sean Connery and Trebek at some point. <laughs> Again, uh, I'll take the penis mighty for 600. <laughs> okay, the synopsis. Here's a synopsis. I can read Trebek. That says anal bomb cover. <laughs> I'll, I'll take a big horny stags for 500. This busty blonde looks like likes to get this done to her. What is blank? Correct. The latest parody to test your knowledge of balls, babes, and <laughs> slurpy <laughs> blanks. Fuck. What the fuck have I gotten I myself into? <laughs> what is this? Where I am I? <laughs> oh, Don't God. worry, do, we will do, supply do, you with sufficient materials for no. cleansing the testosterone from your walls at the end of this broadcast. Indeed. Hold on. The next one. How to, to catch a predator, triple X. No, no, that's not even no. funny. No. That's not even funny. Milfs get no. busted. No. Yeah, Mike, no. In this oh, no. In this triple X spin on the popular TV show, horny housewives score the internet for younger, barely legal playthings. Mike, stop. Oh, God, no. Oh, no. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry, but that's not even funny. Yeah, Mike, you... it's not funny. Stop <laughs> it. Move on. All right, moving on. Have you guys even heard of the show of Joe J Judge Joe Brown? Yeah. yeah. That oh. Now, there's a porn parody of it now. Oh, dear. Jo oh, boy. Time to grow up and get together and pay up. Check out TV's favorite legal mind as he pounds his gravel gavel with the sexiest plaintiffs and defendants ever to take the stand. These small-time squ squabblers are mixed up in some serious, dirty affairs, and they're ready to prove their innocence by any means necessary. Oh, my. <laughs> okay. And then, then we got This Isn't Christmas Vacation! The triple X parody. One more time. 
Christmas Vacation porn parody. Oh, boy. Mm. Yeah, I could see that about regular vacation or European vacation, but Christmas Vacation? Yeah. Uh, it's got a lot Christmas of old vacation. people that's in the, it. That's, that's the most oh, rated out of all of them. <laughs> this year, the Grizzlies. So we have actual, like, have actual nudity in them. Uh, yeah, I have nothing to say about that, and actually the plot seems like the movie, too, so... Oh, God, no! Oh, no. Well, Tosh Porn O. That's uh? the worst pun ever. That's, that sounds like it's just it's just porn meets mystery... Sen- I should shut up now before I give them my ideas. Porn? <laughs> Porn's biggest stars pay homage to some of the Internet's biggest viral videos. Two girls, one cup. What what in the butt are just two of the fame sensations spoofed? You wouldn't wait, wait. What what in the butt wasn't wasn't didn't actually show anything. It was just a song. I, I, yeah. I, but I, apparently they're spoofing it in Tosh Porno. Oh my god, this stuck. <laughs> you <sighs> you won't know whether to laugh, whack off, or both. <laughs> no, we'll we'll, <laughs> we'll we'll cry. We'll we'll cry. Oh oh, but, and what number are we on? Uh, we're on the we're on, uh, number one right here. Last okay, one. Okay, I was just gonna say because I don't know go. how it could possibly get worse. Go ahead. Yeah, you, you we have reached the worst. Drizzy Uh-oh. Shore Triple X, a black <laughs> parody. Black. No! No! Black. No! 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 Yeah. The thought of Snooky wait, naked. Wait, 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 no. wait, wait. Did, did you just come while saying no? Because that's what that sounded like, dude. <laughs> Hold on, I got, I got a clip for this. But I, I don't. You know what? I'm not even surprised. I, I am actually not surprised that exists. Because that shit was so fucking popular for, for whatever reason. Uh, there were oh, signs I bet it's bad. on New Orleans uh, restaurants that says, "If you see it on the shore, it's not coming through this door." <laughs> That's Ooh. funny. But yeah, that is the top ten porn parodies you may have not heard of ever. I never wanted to. Yeah, and now my soul hurts. <laughs> Thank All you. right. Uh, quickly, any closing thoughts overall on this episode? Where's my money? <laughs> you you hurt my soul, or my non-soul, as it were. I come through Wisconsin. I will drive a truck into your testicles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 he's in Wisconsin? Yeah, I'm from Wisconsin. over one of my exes first. I'm from Wisconsin. He's on the way. Huh? <laughs> uh, I am. Uh, All right, I'm Scooter Mike, the White Wolf, and I'm signing off, and good night, America, wherever you are. <laughs>